Palacios, after winning every round uh, against Joe Godfrey, you said just after the fight you needed this fight. Tell us why. I definitely needed this fight. Um, needed to get in some rounds. I got some rounds in with, with Lorachik, but I, needed, I definitely needed these rounds. And, and really, really, it was, good. it was a good thing for me because coming off that controversial loss, um, you know, I just needed to show everybody that what happened in Poland was... Um, a complete fluke. We, we, we talk about it that uh, the Joel was kind of African American version of of, of, of Krzysztof Wodarczyk uh, fighting uh, behind uh, uh, a double double fist in front of his face. I, is it something uh, you you, you want to teach yourself how to fight or maybe explore the chances how to break the defenses like this? Definitely. Um, you saw I, I won eight rounds. I won eight rounds out of, the, out of the eight rounds and I was doing the same exact thing that I started doing with Vlodarczyk and everything. They wasn't giving me no warning for, for supposedly low blows and fists hitting him behind the head or or ducking under his punches and everything. So I mean, it's, it's a perfect, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect fight for me because it, I just proved everybody wrong that I did the same exact thing that I did with Blodarczyk and then Blodarczyk happens to win against Danny Green, we're gonna be good. Uh, this is exactly what you, what your trainer, uh, Josue Aguilar said, uh, the biggest difference you could see after six minutes or so was that this, this time the, the referee in the ring had no problem with your punches. So some of them, uh, some of the punches which you connected uh, today would be uh, a kind of risky proposition if you would do it in Poland or Maybe not in Poland, maybe when this referee would be in the ring. How much, uh, um, how much more comfortable you felt knowing you can basically show all your skills? Well, I, I felt real good. I felt real good because they let me fight. And that's, that's what I wanted to do. That's all I want to do. I want to fight. I want to show the world that I'm the best in the world. And Joel Godfrey, I never underestimated him. I thought I was going to knock him out. But guess what? He gave me the rounds that I needed. I feel good about it. I gave him, I blanked him out, tipped my hat off to him because he's a tough fighter, and and definitely we'll be working together. So. And this is this is also let's let's quote again, uh, Josue. This is what Josue was saying that he wanted the guy like this. He knew it would be not just you know walk in the park. That uh, Joel is a tough guy. He was prepared very well for this type of fight. You can tell if he could not match your speed of technique, but every other aspect of the fight, he was he was ready to fight. So it was maybe risky, but needed in a big picture uh, point of view. Do you agree with the assessment? I definitely agree with it, and it was a great, excellent fight that I needed, and like that's that's what we wanted. Um, I thought, like me, I go into the ring always thinking that I'm the best in the world, and I, that's what exactly what I showed. I'm the best in the world, and I know I'm the best in the world, and I don't need a title to prove that. I just beat the. I just finished beating. Oh um, no, um, April second, I just finished beating the best in the world of the WBC and I just finished meeting another fighter tonight and something some happens when I got good referees in the ring that they don't let me fight. All I want to do is fight, get in there and fight. That's it. They give me a chance to fight and then we go in there and fight. I want to say something from my point of view. Uh, the human factor. Uh, on April the 2nd, uh, Jaden wasn't just coming to this world. This time, you, you hold him in your hands after the fight. And before the fight, and after, I mean, we spent together a lot of time, you were a different guy. You were much more relaxed, much more like wizard-like. Yep. Uh, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything, like, everything fell into place that day. That I, I don't like making excuses. There's no excuse. That it wasn't like I said. It wasn't a hundred percent wizard. Tonight, what you saw was a hundred percent wizard. Maybe I could do a little bit better, but tonight was a hundred percent wizard. I know I could do a lot better. I work on. I work on different things. My first fight coming back, I had a lot of pressure. I had to show the world that I'm not a fluke, that I'm a real 
fighter, this guy, even though he had three, four losses, he wasn't, he wasn't. Yeah, he came to fight. Yeah, he, he wasn't just fight. for he was a great, paycheck. excellent shape, yeah. and he came to fight. So I had, we, we fought. That's what we did. We showed him, we showed him what everybody wanted to see. And we did it, and I came out on top because I was a better fighter. The last question before, for sure, crazy wizard time party, which, which approaches you very quickly. Do you have preferences, Krzysztof Budarczyk or Danny Green? Well, um, no. <laughs> no, I have no preferences. I wish them the, the both the best of luck. And whoever wins, I'm coming for you! Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.